Good morning out of Goshen. Today, David and I are going to talk about the top 10 things you will need to buy if you buy a brand new travel trailer or RV. Item number one. A water filter. Now, even if you plan on drinking bottled water on your RV, you still need to get this. Now granted, it will filter out your water. It's an amazing charcoal filter that eliminates a lot of the things that may be coming from your RV park. And trust me, in Florida, some of the RV park water here smells uh, like, like Everglades, you know, swamp. But anyway, even if you don't have that, you still wanna get this because your house water, your water coming into your camper is gonna be from a hose. And even if you plan on drinking bottled water the entire time, you still wanna use this because there is nothing worse than taking a shower inside your RV and it smells like that, that hose, plastic, rubber, hose smell. And you'll have that smell all day long and it's horrible. For the longest time, I thought it was actually the plastic tank that held the water in the RV, but no, it turned out to be this. $17.87 at Walmart is the best price I found and it comes with this little springy adapter thingy that actually makes it so it doesn't break off the side of your RV. You hook up the water tap to your hose to this filter to the springy thingy right to the side of the RV and this will filter up well I think it says like up to three months on the actual filter but uh, I've talked to other RVers more than six months this thing will last and the water comes out nice and fresh so this is our number one must that we must have is this charcoal water filter item number two a hose a water hose a water drinking hose i personally like to buy the 50 footer this particular camper actually has water uh, inputs on both sides on the side where the utilities connect to is the place that actually connects to using water straight into your tap whereas the other side of the camper that's actually where it goes into the holding tank so i like to have a nice extra long hose there's nothing worse than having it too short this particular water hose, Amazon, $16.39. Not bad. Item number three. A brass regulator. Where is it? It's on order from Amazon, $4.39. Now Walmart's price, pretty comparable if it's in stock. The Walmart here didn't have it in stock that day. Now what the regulator does is takes the RV park water and if the pressure happens to be too high, it will regulate it down so that way it protects your piping on your RV so they won't burst. Uh, most RV parks today are pretty safe. In fact, I went for a few years on our Class C RV without using it. Didn't know I was supposed to use it, so I didn't. Never had a problem, but you know what? For a little over four bucks, it's worth, it's worth the extra insurance to, uh, to protect those pipes. Item number four, a sewer hose. A sewer hose. We purchased a 20 footer. In our Class C RV, I'll be honest with you, every single time we ever used a sewer hose, the 10-footer was enough, except once. There was one time where we actually had to have a 20-footer, and we did. Most RVs, including our Class C and this travel trailer, have a place in the bumper to store these. So my, my thought is, go ahead and buy the extra one now, because if you ever come across a time where you don't have it long enough, well, deep trouble. This particular one I got at Walmart for $29.97 and it actually has the 20 feet of hose as well as all the couplings you need, every one of them, to be able to hook up your trailer, your RV, to the local sewer connection. Number five. A sewer hose rack. Now, we bought our classy RV off this older guy here in Florida and instead of paying $32.20, that's what this cost on Amazon, he simply took a giant PVC gutter, cut it in half, so it was a gutter, and simply took the sewer hose and ran it down the gutter. And I'll be honest with you, it worked fine. It was kind of embarrassing sometimes, however, looking at this weird gutter sitting on the back of our RV. But you know, it worked, so I never bought another one. But now, we have this brand new travel trailer. We're going with an actual rack. And these things are neat. Usually the Sidewinder model is what most people get, and it literally just guides your hose to the receptacle, receptacle to dump your waste, and actually makes it so it's always on downward slope so you can get rid of your waste easy. Item number six. <laughs> Toilet treatments. Although this is often overlooked at the very beginning, you do not want to do that. The, your black tank can get pretty stinky. And once you dump it, 
flush it, etc. Just drop one of these in there. Now you can actually buy the liquid one, but these ones are nice. It comes in a little pot, just toss her on in. This one I believe is minty fresh taste, smell, smell, scent. scent. Uh, however, a lot of people go with the orange. The orange actually helps clean it. Walmart, $10.97 for 15 treatments. Don't go without this one. Item number seven, blocks. Leveling blocks, $29.88 at Walmart. Here's what they do. They're actually very nice. It comes with a set of 10. These ones are specifically two by twos, and most people use them for the application of as they drive into their little spot they're gonna camp at. RV or travel trailer, doesn't matter. It's going to put them under the tires so that way the whole RV is level. There's nothing worse than rolling off a bed during the night. But from our experience from camping all over the country, most RV spots are actually relatively level anyway. But I still bought them. This particular travel trailer actually has leveling jacks that come down and also the tongue that comes down that helps level and actually make it so your, your travel trailer is nice and sturdy, not wobbly. And this recommendation says for these particular blocks, use two blocks per leveling jack. There's 10, we have five different places it comes down. So that's why we bought them. It actually makes it so everything stays nice and straight and uh, these leveling jacks that come down in the ground will often mush into the ground unless you have some kind of blocks like this to put them on. Item eight. Wheel chocks. Now, these particular wheel chocks I got at Walmart, 347 each. Four of them times four, less than 14 bucks for the whole set. And these are invaluable. Now, in our RV, our Class C RV, we never used them. I found the parking brake and putting it in park um, was always enough to hold it, but not with a travel trailer. Are we sleepy? <laughs> on the travel trailer, we bought four of them, two on each side. The last thing I want to do is have any type of rolling whatsoever as the uh, the trailer sits there at night. And the leveling jacks will hold it too. But you know what? 14 bucks, less than 14 bucks, it gives me a little bit more peace of mind knowing I'm not going to roll down some hill somewhere. Number nine, bubbles. Leveling bubbles. We actually had some leveling bubbles on our Class C, and again, never really used them because the Class C you can pull in put it in park and everything's good. But these leveling bubbles for this travel trailer, I'm already noticing a need for this because once you put that tongue down and the leveling, jack, leveling jacks down, I wanna make sure that things stay pretty level inside here. $2.67 at Walmart, you can't beat it. Number 10. Last but not least, a power adapter. This particular travel trailer is 30 amp and if you try to take your 30 amp plug which honestly the plugs usually come with a trailer and RV. So I'm gonna assume that yours came with that. You're still gonna to wanna to purchase this little power adapter. It takes that 30 amp service and turns it into a regular three prong electrical outlet plug for your house, 120 volts. Now, you're limited. Um, I still turn on the air conditioner sometimes, that's fine. Or maybe other times I'll turn on the microwave oven, but I never do both. Okay, that's bad, bad news because you're simply going to be trying to pull too much current through that particular house wire in your house, and more than likely your circuit's gonna, your circuit breaker's gonna pop, but don't even risk that. But to be able to keep your house lights going, to be able to possibly watch some TV, maybe at home, or even more so, keep your house battery nice and charged while your travel trailer or RV sits there, this power adapter can't be beat. This one costs less than four bucks. I think it was $3.99, and we actually bought it at Camping World. Here's a bonus. Your bonus is a little coupler lock. $5.97 at Walmart, and this gives you some peace of mind too. This is not for a classy RV. If you have a trailer, travel trailer, especially if you have a smaller travel trailer, the last thing you wanna do is have it for you to go sightseeing and come back and your trailer is gone. This will reduce that risk. Um, all it does is connects to the actual little tongue and makes it so somebody can't put it on their hitch and drive away with the trailer. Obviously, if somebody's really motivated, they could still make it happen. But uh, you know what, 597, what do they say? Keeps honest people honest. Another bonus. Your second bonus, and the last bonus you're getting today, clip-on mirrors. Again, a reason it's a bonus is because this is not for classy RVs, this is for a travel trailer. I mean, I suppose you use it for your RV if you want to, but these make it so you can actually see around your travel trailer, which is very beneficial. Traveling down the highway, it's kind of hard to know if somebody's next to you or not. This will actually help you out. These ones, particularly at Amazon, $19.03. Number 
Now, I know it's kind of a bummer you have to buy things for your RV that you kind of almost think they would be included with your RV, but obviously RV, RV manufacturers um, want to reduce costs as much as possible. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and look at all these items one more time. Well, let's look at the prices of each one and give you a total sum of everything you have to pay for. Number one, the water filter, $17.87 from Walmart. Two, 50-foot hose, $16.39 at Amazon. Three, a water regulator, $4.39 at Amazon. A sewer hose kit from Walmart, $29.97. A hose rack from Walmart, $32.20. Toilet treatments, $10.97. Leveling blocks, $29.88. Wheel chocks, $13.88. Level bubbles from Walmart, $267. A power adapter, I got mine at Camping World for $3.99. A tongue lock, $5.97. Mirror extenders, $19.03. Giving you a grand sum total of $187.21 for things you have to have for your RV. There may be more. You may actually have found better deals too. So leave comments below. Tell me anything you would add to the list or maybe you actually find these items at a better price. Let us know. All right, until next time, out of Goshen.